All right, folks, a Snake River Cichlids unboxing video. I'm gonna cut right to the chase here. So I already uh, cut the tape just because I was struggling with that on my first video. Didn't wanna waste your time watching me do that. All right, so here we have instructions about how to uh, acclimate your fish to your tank. Basically, they want you to um, drop the bags in the tank, let the water temperature um, assimilate to your current tank temperature, and then um, don't drip the fish, but rather put them into a net, put them straight into your tank. So I'm ready to do that. Here's my tank. Let's do this. All right, so my order was a Showcase Dragon Blood Cichlid. Um, really a bloody red in the photo. Should be good looking. Um, about five inches long. Also a regular OB Dragon Blood and a Blue Dragon Blood. So we'll see. Um, this is like a chopped up paper type of filling. Um, it's pretty cold in Minnesota today, so I'm glad they did that. First bag is OB Dragon Blood. Looks like I got um, kind of one of those orange ones. Sort of looks great. Um, so immediately I'm gonna rinse off the paper filling. Man, you look great. And drop them in the tank. I should say this is my second order from Snake River Cichlids in the last month. Um, my first one, fantastic order. I got a bunch of canary cichlids. Um, they're still growing, but they look great. This is a blue dragon blood. And um, hold them up to the light. He looks really good too. Blue dragon blood. And for the grand finale, let's see. Oh yeah, all right. Showcase Dragon Blood. Check that out. Um, I will say I do think it's important for you to wash your bags off before you drop them in the tank. Um, insulation in general is pretty damn bad for your human system. I'm guessing this is just paper, but I definitely wouldn't put it in my fish tank to let my fish eat whatever uh, paper stuff this insulation is. So, all right, another recap. Um, I know the lights aren't on yet, but here we've got a showcase dragon blood. Um, probably about five inches. A blue dragon blood, which uh, he looks great, very nice blue. Looks just like the photo on the website. And this other one is a regular OB dragon blood. Damn, look at those colors. These guys are the 2.5 to 3 inch size. And, uh, geez, he's got some seriously nice color. All right, um, I'm gonna let these guys float for about 15 minutes and um, I'll be back shortly. Thanks. All right, I'm back and I'm gonna put the fish in the tank now. So I've, first I pulled out the OB Dragon Blood. There's another kind of photo of them. Let's see. Let's see if I can cut this bag with one hand. All right, so before I throw them in, I just want to get a quick look at the fish. Yeah, 
Yeah, look at this. It's a lot of color for such a young fish and for being stressed out right now. Wow. Next is the blue dragon bud. I just put them in here. Let's see. Let's take a look at them. Look at that blue color. Seriously, look how blue this guy is. Nice bright blue, a little bit of red, just like in the in this picture online. Dragon blood. Let's see. Let's see. Look at this. Wow. How about that? Wow. All right, so while the fish are getting acclimated before I turn on the lights, uh, just a couple more things. As you can see here, this is no lights. Um, the box did come with a heat pack. It is here, wrapped up in this. I'm sure it's just a, uh, a pocket warmer type of deal. Yeah, right here. It's um, it's still kind of warm to touch. A little bit. Um, yeah. Let's see. Honestly, um, today in Minnesota, it's like 35 degrees out, which is super warm for January. Um, last time I ordered, it was negative 10 out. So I went and picked up the package from the FedEx facility at the airport. Today, I just let them deliver it to my apartment and it seemed to be fine. Um, like I said, it's my second delivery from Snake River Cichlids. The first one went really well. Um, I got a bunch of canary cichlids, small guys, um, a smaller OB. What else did I get? Um, one of those albino super reds. Um, um, I got a blue dragon blood and I got a red Apache. I would definitely recommend the red Apache. That's a super nice looking fish. Um, anyway, Snake River Cichlids, they're in Idaho. Um, one of the best things about them is that they're super reasonable about shipping. Shipping and handling is only $29. Um, honestly, if you're paying 50 bucks for shipping from another website, that's bullshit and they're, uh, they're ripping you off. If they, if the supplier knows what they're doing, they probably have a contract or at least a deal worked out with either FedEx or UPS where they can ship stuff overnight. Box is about this size for about 29 bucks. So some of the other websites I know literally charge like 50 bucks um, for shipping, which is just outrageous. And uh, what they're doing in that situation, they're taking 20 or 25 bucks and charging you for the freaking box, all right? Um, so Snake River Cichlids is reasonable about that. Um, and honestly, the, the price for their fish is uh, super comparable, super comparable to the other places, maybe even uh, more reasonable. Honestly, I've been really impressed with the fish that I've gotten from them. The colors are great. The, the, pig, the fish are exactly what I expected out of the pictures and uh, customer service is great. I've bugged them, bugged them about a couple things and they've always res responded to me in a timely manner. Um, yeah, I mean, around where I live, there's a handful of local breeders. Um, I'm sure they do a really nice job, but honestly, they uh, some of them are hesitant to post pictures online or they're too lazy or they're just not organized enough. So I don't waste my time with that. I. Uh, you know, these guys have the pictures of the fish online. They've got a super active Facebook page, pretty active Instagram account, um, where they're constantly posting the pictures of the fish that they have. So you know what you're getting, you know? I'm not trying to drive an hour to some breeder and not exactly know what, uh, what they're selling. I don't care if you've got a list of all the species that you have, I wanna see pictures. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at with that. Um, but yeah, for now, let's take a look at these fish. I'm a little bit hesitant to throw the light on now, but uh, let's see, we'll see. 
Alexa, turn on the fish tank. Okay. All right. Okay, now they're afraid of me. Normally they, uh, they like me because I'm the hand that feeds them. All right, so this spotted little tan guy, that is, that is a OB dragon blood that I got as a one inch fish a, a month ago. He's a little bit bigger now. I'm thinking it's a female because he'd be showing a little bit more color if it's a male. That's fine. Um, although I only have one fish tank right now, I'll try and figure out what to do with females. Maybe I'll keep them in here, maybe I won't. This is a, that's the red Apache I got last time. Here's the show click, showcase, um, Jesus, he's pink. Um, the showcase dragon blood that I just got. Um, looks really nice. Wow. Um, I'll try and get him more red. I'll feed him some krill and stuff. I'm not sure what's up with that black mark on top of him on his left side, but uh, there he is for now. That might be the, this guy I think is the one I just got. This is the blue dragon blood. He's got nice bright colors, especially for only being here for a couple minutes. Um, and then over here, here we have the OB dragon blood which is a nice pink red color. Sorry, I'm not much of a cameraman. Yeah, here's that, uh, the new OB Dragon Blood. Real nice, nice color. Again, this is a two and a half, three inch size. Uh, I think it cost me 25 bucks for that size fish. And um, very happy with that. Uh, OB Dragon Blood, good luck finding that um, at your local pet store. And then these are my the canary yellows that I got. There's four or five of them total. These guys are still growing. Um, I got these at one one inch fish about a month ago. So I'm thinking I've got, a, a, I mean, at least one male, hopefully two males. Um, we'll see. There's a little blueberry baby in here somewhere. It's also growing, although pretty slowly. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, feel free to just comment and I'd be happy to respond about my experiences with Snake River Cichlids. Um, otherwise, have a great day and thanks for watching.